Thank you. First at five, we are learning more about the roller coaster incident that happened yesterday at Cedar Point. It sent one guest to the hospital. Marissa Signs is live at the park in Sandusky. Marissa, good afternoon to you. I understand you spoke with an ER nurse who was at the park and jumped in to help. What did she have to say? Good afternoon, Jay. I'll tell you, we've learned a lot in just the last few hours. What we know right now about that injured woman is that she was transferred from an area hospital to another location. We're still working to learn just how old she is and what her current condition is. But what we do know is how all of this unfolded. Let me get to that right now. So according to a statement from the amusement park around 430 yesterday afternoon, as people were waiting in line for the top thrill dragster roller coaster, a quote, small metal object disengaged from the roller coaster and came in contact with, with the woman injuring her. Now, we've been speaking with people on social media and in interviews today who tell us chaos ensued after that. People online began screaming, stop the ride, stop the ride, pleading with the operator. Now, I spoke with one man who was in line who says he's an ER nurse, and when people began running away from the ride, he heard them saying, there's a woman hurt, there's a woman hurt, and that's when he says he jumped into action. There was a lot of commotion. A lot of people started screaming and hopping the gates and started running towards the exits and everybody just started yelling this woman's hurt this woman's hurt this woman's hurt and everybody's running so i went the other direction to go try and find her you know i've been an er nurse for a long time and like there was only so much we can do like with you know people's clothing and stuff like that to kind of keep her calm and safe and just kind of control the situation and just hope she's okay that's really it and we tried our best yeah, now our newsroom did some digging and learned that since the roller coaster opened in 2003, there have been two other incidents resulting in injuries both times. Now, according to the Department of Agriculture, which inspects these rides, the roller coaster did pass an inspection back in May and was due for another inspection in September to be in order to stay in accordance with state law. We'll have more on the history of the ride at six as well as any of the latest developments. Jay, right. Betsy. Marissa Signs, live from Cedar Point. We certainly hope the young woman is okay.